If you're craving something really comforting, let me show you how to make this Japanese curry. So for the veggies, you'll need onions, carrots, and potatoes. Stir fry for a few minutes and season with salt. Then add water and bring to a boil. These are Japanese curry cubes and this is what thickens the broth and gives it flavor. Optional, but I like to add a splash of coconut cream and lastly a sweet tango apple. And it gives it a subtle sweet flavor that balances everything so well. Set that aside to simmer and prepare the batter. No need for two separate bowls, just add it all together. I'm using thin pork chops and dipping into panko breadcrumbs and then just fry until golden brown. 